jumping all around, jumping all around, jumping all around. That's going to be stuck in my head now for 7,000 years. Long after I'm dead and buried. I will still be thinking of that song, even though I don't think that's possible. Oh. What's going on in here? See, that looks like a thing that you'd want to inspect more, but I guess we don't have the luxury. Who am I to say what I should look at? Maybe I've got some very awful memories that I don't want to dredge up right now. Why can't I just drink my sorrows away? Okay, so this is, uh, fallen over. I don't know why. Oh, we've seen this picture already. Isn't that the same one that was on the staircase back over here? Oh, there is a sort of a run button, by the way. It's just you run really slowly. Oh, there's my cane. My Michael cane. Is there a reason that I would want to inspect it, though? No. Uh, baby with creepy gimp mask? I thought I saw you before. I don't know why I need to prove anything like that. Whatever. I really thought I saw that somewhere. Okay. We've got scrolly scrolls. We've got a burning fire, which has bits of fractured wood that looks like it's freshly broken. Uh, where is this wood coming from? Is it coming from my desk? I see the key there, by the way. I'll grab it in just a second. I'm just... Trying to put together the pieces of what's going on. Do a little detective dance. Yeah, I'll put that on. Put on both of these, actually, if I have the option. Hit move, Nick, look again. Did it? Nick's too cynical. Yeah, I could see why he would say that, thinking that I, uh thought they were reusing an element already. Actually, like, that is actually maybe a bit much of me to say that, considering it's, like, a predominant focus of the game is to have these art assets, so... Yeah, that is a little weird of me to say that. My apologies. I don't know why I'm always looking for these things. I just let things be. Uh little trouble pulling that one for whatever reason. Oh, I've got a scroll right for some reason, that one. Mm, can't really see anything worth inspecting inside. So obviously this note. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake, I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I'm already, I already regret agreeing to payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Papyrus Publishings. I mean, that's pretty cool, honestly, but yeah, I, I get the point. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty menacing. Still, pretty cool, though. I like his style. Oh, fuck. All right, well, that's where we crossed the line. Um, I mean, probably don't want to see Little Red Riding Hood's entrails hanging out of her mouth. Or Grandma's entrails, rather, because... Oh, okay, well, now now both, I guess. Yep, that's that's maybe a bit much for a kid's thing. Gotcha. I'm with you, Liam. <sighs> what keeps rattling when I walk over here? Oh, it's me walking through this broken glass. Okay, gotcha. So I've got the key. Uh, I would like to perhaps use the key last, because I want to make sure I get all the exploration done before we proceed forward. This room... Yeah, no, we know about that room. This room, I'm kind of curious if I can even open. Yeah, I figured that would be locked. That's the rat room, I guess. We can still go into the basement. This is such a weird... Like, why is this wall here? The structure of this house is, like, really confusing to me. Like, they could have just not put this wall here at all and just had this remain 
the same level all the way around? And not had this freaking weird staircase down and then back up? I mean, it's cool looking, but I just don't understand the functionality of it. Any architects uh, in the chat, feel free to explain to me why that's a thing. Alright, let's maybe check down here first. Please make jumping all around your new sub noise. You don't really want that, do you? Oh yeah, it's pretty spooky down here, huh? Oh wow. It's huge. Oh, so this is probably where he's getting all that firewood from. You need that weird hallway so you can get chased by a ghost later. Well, let's see what happens. I'm gonna jump to any conclusions. I'm thoroughly impressed so far, though. The attention to detail is absolutely magnanimous. I'm, uh, I'm quite awestruck by how much time they spent on every little thing. Like, so the first thing I did here... Okay, so this is how cynical I am. I saw this. Immediately my eye was drawn to that smudge. And then I went, oh, there's other bo uh, folders and papers over here. Smudge. Smudge. <laughs> Smudge. <laughs> I'm awful. I can't stop my damn brain. I don't actually expect developers to create assets for every individual piece of paper and folder, and yet I can't stop my brain from saying that there's something wrong with that. I don't know what my problem is. Yeah, what is up with this pile of dolls? He's looking out over the dolls like, what's on the horizon? Is there a ship coming to shore? It's a pretty weird thing to see. I think if I was, like, a lunatic artist that lived alone in a mansion and, like, I was preparing myself for some sort of catastrophic incident, I would probably set up some crazy batshit insane shit in my house that people would come and discover. Nothing dangerous, just, like, make them go, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> we got some bent glasses. I have to believe this has something to do with the wife. Most likely she was in that incident with the fire at the department store and perhaps these were her glasses that he retrieved from the scene that had been trampled on. I'm going to guess people stepped on her. Awful. This is just a, a guess, though, of course. I don't really know. Uh, oh, kid was not doing fantastically well. I'm going to guess that's age seven. Is that an E? What is... What is it, an E-grade? Excused? Or is this like some kind of European standard? In the US it goes A, B, C, D, F. We skip E for some reason, not entirely sure why. But yeah, D, 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 C, not the best average. Uh, yes, we are currently playing the artist that lives here to the best of my knowledge, yeah. I always qualify that because, like, honestly, I don't know where the story's gonna go, but that's the impression that we've been given and led to believe, so yes. What's this? Oh, this is just a really ornate fountain <laughs> built into the, the basement wall. Interesting. E is an elementary school where I live? Okay. I figured there was a reason for it. I didn't think they were just, like, making it up, but I just I didn't know what it was. I'm gonna guess this is the wife's violin. Obviously, oh, it's partially burned. That's fucked up. See, these are actually like really interesting stories that you can tell just by virtue of having amazingly naturalistic graphics. If not for the high graphical fidelity, I would not be able to tell necessarily that that's the very subtle implication they're trying to send to us. Look at the shading too, like... As you go across that, it goes from reasonably glossy with all kinds of marks to completely matte. And you can even see the very subtle shadows as they strike through... Uh, what is that called? The, the thing that holds the strings up, but I don't remember what that's called. I knew that at one point, but I forgot. Anyway, I've embarrassed myself. Let's move on. <laughs> Alright, I think we've seen what we need to see in the basement. I'm sure this rope is going to become a sneaky snake at some point, so we got to keep note of that. Can't look at any of these notes. These books are non-interactable. Right, I think we've got it. 
Was there really not anything else over here, though? This seems like such a focal point. Why would you just have a single candle burning in the corner? It's a crate. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure I understand what this space is meant to denote. Alright, maybe we'll get it later. There's, there's a couple of these little alcoves, but I don't really get them. Okay, moving on for real this time. Please say sneaky snake again. Oh, I say it all the time, don't worry. If you're ever wondering if I'll ever say that again, don't worry, I will. Crate expectations. Oh. Wait, really? Oh. That's a, a funny thing that you probably would never think about. Alright, I don't know if you can even hear this, but when I approach the, the landing on the top of these steps... You hear jumping all around again, right? Now, I think what happens there... Because proximity-wise, the, oh, the, there's a painting that's not there now that I believe was there before, wasn't it? Or, or was it? I may have forgotten. Um, I think what happens there is there's actually a gap. Like a, a small gap between some of these spaces that maybe we can't even see. But it's allowing the sound to think that proximity-wise we're right next to it. Okay, I don't know why I'm going back upstairs. We should actually just go into the studio. I got the key for a reason, right? Ah, here we are. We're home, boys! What is going on over here? Some very fluorescent paints. Get it right this time. Oh. That is... wild. As macabre as it is, I quite like this artist's style, actually. Wait, now, okay, these paintings we definitely saw already. This one I know for a fact was in the first entrance room. I bet I'm locked in now. Yeah, of course I am. Uh, but yeah, I know for a fact that it was in there. Unless, well, okay, so there's always the out of we're losing our minds. So things are not always as they seem. That's reasonable too. There's the glasses again, but these ones are not bent. Jumping all around, jumping all around, jumping all around. Okay, various assorted paints and paint supplies. Some more bits of rolled up paper, more metals, and a pipe. I don't think I can get any information off of these. That looks like it's written in Latin. Does it say something Furnum? It's like a little. Oh, wait. Actually, it looks like German. I just can, like, barely make out the words, but not really. I was actually turning my head sideways so I could see it better. He could have also, like, painted the same picture several times for some reason. I mean, that's also an option. Oh my god. It's quite the collection. I can actually see how the brushes are stacked together. Oh wow, okay, so that I meant that in the 3D modeling word of brushes, not in the act of those are brushes, though. <laughs> oh, I still hear it! Dude, you need to... You need to soundproof your walls. This freaking jumping all around is never gonna end. It's the sound of madness. Let's, what are the skeletons in my closet? I want to know. Do I dare unveil my masterwork that is not yet finished? I need to take a good hard look in the mirror first. Can I see my prosthesis? Probably not. I don't think it's low enough. What does this say? Deep breaths. Remember your professional. It's just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? So he's trying to psych himself up, I guess. Okay, I think we're left with no other options now. Unveil it. Oh, there's not much on it. 
All right, so for the next couple hours, we're going to be painting this canvas. I hope you're prepared. Uh, that will be our... Oh. Our main goal in this series. Can I manipulate this handle? I'm actually surprised I even noticed that those drawers opened. Nope. Can't manipulate that. I bet for a lot of people that boot this game up, they would get to where I am in, like, less than two minutes. <laughs> and now we're allowed to leave. Wait. Wait just a god darn minute. This is not the architecture that I had painted in my mind. Excuse me? Alright. Alright, let's... Yeah, now that door's locked, of course. Well, things took a spooky turn. Jumping all around, jumping all around, jumping all around. I love how manic that song was. It just kept playing and playing and playing, and it was like a loop of all of 25 seconds. Do I dare look behind the curtain? I don't think I have the option, actually. So he left the window open. That's just irresponsible. Just, just out of reach. I get it. Can't go in there. It's out of reach. Can't reach it. And it slammed. Possibly on my fingers, which would have been a real problem if I'm a painter. And I need my hands to do my work. I'm a professional. Just the first few strokes and I'm over the hump. Wait a minute, that sounded a little dirty. Alright. Uh, there's nothing else in this room, is there? Oh, you've done it again! I would have never seen this coming had I not seen there was established precedent for this kind of thing. Alright. I dig it. What layer of fear are we in right now? Is this layer one? Because right now the layers feel, you know, onionish, as layers do. Got a lot of very well modeled books. Cool. Going in circles. I appreciate that sentiment. I feel like I am. There's nothing going on up here. No secret pages. What is a stubby ass fan? I appreciate they bothered to model the wiggling of the fan around because, like, nobody ever pays attention to the fact that fans actually do that most of the time. But those blades on the fan are, like, so stubby. Anyway. What's going on in here? Okay, we got some busts. Bustin' makes me feel good, so I probably love this room. Is this a uh, young Steve Buscemi? I can see it a little, right? I don't think I'm that crazy. I'm... Hmm. I was gonna say maybe it's, like, him and his wife, but... I don't know. She looks a little older than I expected, given the series of events that we were talking about. Uh, anyway. More paintings. That painting again, with the butt. Just everywhere. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, can I get up top? Nope. Jumping all around. I, I seriously can't stop singing. I'm sorry. As soon as I stop saying anything out loud, my brain is immediately going right back to that sound. <laughs> what is this? I actually don't understand. Is it a, a tin tray turned over or something? We got some whispers happening over here in the the window. Oh, coming out of this chest, I think. Oh yeah, it's padlocked. There's some kind of demon inside of there. Maybe let's we'll just leave it closed. Oh. Okay. So we've got some numbers attached to our paintings. We're kind of melting reality a little. Is this just the order that I put them in? 4, 8, 5? That's fine. Wait, how do I... Oh, I just, just grab it and drag it. I did that the long way. And so did I with that. Cool. Cigarette case? This thing here? 
the thing on the left of the pipe that I'm centering in the view? Like, I don't know what that even is. It looks like a freaking magazine for a massive rifle. Uh, but it, it is almost definitely actually not that. Probably art supplies, to be honest. This is a huge cigarette case, though, if that's what that is. It's like a, the size of an iPad. You can put that shit in your pocket. Anyway, let's open this chest. Oh, the past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? That's a weird way to propose, to be honest. I get the sentiment there. It could be sweet in a way, but you're kind of saying, like, I want to take possession of you. Don't be weird, art dude. Well, I know you're kind of out of your mind. You can't help it. All right, story has been moved on. Let's go through this door that I don't think existed a second ago. There we go. We've got the rocking chair. Just sitting there. It's in here. I should probably look around this corner in case there's some sort of spectral beast hunting me. Is that a tomato? Or an orange? I think it's like an old-ass orange. But I don't know what that other one is. Like a blue potato. Oh, somebody had a little bit of an art accident over here. Art is hard. Sometimes you just can't hold back your inspiration long enough to get to where you need to be. A.K.A. your proper easel. Can't open that. I really like to explore these things. This is where all the, the real possessions lie. Hmm. What is that? Looks like an actual 3D rendered doll attached to the front of that canvas. Ooh, a shiny globe. If you're ever going to give me a globe in a video game, you better let me spin it. Otherwise, you instantly lose three points on my review score. That's not true. <laughs> it's very satisfying, though, to spin globes. I love it. I'll never get bored of it. Ooh, Domino Rally. Got a nice pillow there, probably, to kneel on. You can play dominoes together. So it could have been a nice family moment in here. Instead, we've got this creepy freaking box that doesn't open or do anything. Ooh, what an exotic plant. Actually, this might not be that exotic at all. From far away, it looked quite exotic, though. Oh, what was that all about? I think it just fell through reality or something. Oh, trap door! <laughs> that was weird. Do I have a flashlight? I don't know why I would. I don't, but that would be weird if I did. Alright, so there's like a really freaking creepy table here. Barrel with a candle. Oh, we can inspect this note behind the walls. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't done. There's, there's stuff over there. Excuse me. I want to go. There's uh, the note. I want to look at that. Dust mice. Even in my lungs. There is always more grotesque vermin dirt. Yeah, no, I'm with you, man. <laughs> uh, so it's just like all this stuff. I guess it's just to break your fall when you fall into the trapdoor. Why is there a trapdoor again? I don't know. Maybe the trapdoor is metaphorical. Metaphoric? For some reason, that doesn't sound right now. All right, there's nothing in here. Why didn't I notice this when I walked around it before? It's very large to all of a sudden appear out of nowhere. I don't like dust mice, no. Hey, Kafka. Bonk. Ooh, secret door! We're coming out of the back behind a bookcase. All right, so we actually just did a loop-de-loop -loop right here. Can I see a seam in the floor where the trap door is supposed to send me? Is that... Oh, that's it right there, isn't it? It's real subtle, but if you look very carefully, you can see the seam right where the center dot is pointed. And this is mu what must have actually separated. Although I'm not sure how that comports with this rug. 
which you would think would well, it must just probably end right there. It's just human sized. And it doesn't drop me down again. Maybe I want to drop. Maybe I like the ride. Maybe I want to play again. Nah. It's like my one biggest motivation to make a ton of money would be to have a house with trap doors in it, because that's the coolest shit ever. Oh, it just slides back into place. That makes sense. What's the point of that, really? I guess it's like a panic room. I feel like I'm going in circles again. Is this a freaking Gone Home spoiler? What are you doing down there? Come on, now. Oh. This is interesting. Wondering why he's so melty. Oh. You set the opacity to like 70%, didn't you? You crafty devil. It's going to all of them. They've all got a couple little weird winky walls on their eyes there. Okay. Let's keep going. Still cool paintings. It's supposed to be ominous, I guess, that there's like people watching you from behind the paintings or something. I'm not sure I'm getting that impression as much as it just kind of looks like a Photoshop thing. Oh. Paint Deep Lies. Is this my subconscious manifesting in uh, psychotropic realities or. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I'm not that round. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> If we raid later, can we make the raid message, I'm not that round? <laughs> I saw Carlos Santana in that for like a split second, but then when I actually looked up at it again, it just it didn't, wasn't there at all. Ooh, glowy. What's going on? Oh, look at all his books! I love when you take a primitive shape and you put a whole bunch of them in one spot and then you get to see how the light reacts with it. I've always been obsessed with that. Like, maybe that's one of the things that drew me to art in the first place, so I just love the way light and shadow plays off of things. What's this? Ew. Rodent seeds, rotten soil. I see the dirt move, nothing else grows. It's probably like that corrupted room we were seeing before. Probably has something to do with that. I'm using the term corrupted in a strange way. Did the... Oh. <laughs> Alright, I guess they're just kind of taking care of their own problem then. I mean, it's an awful way to go, but... Oh wait, how many are there in this little barrel? What's going on in here? I think this painting just broke. Dude, that's fucking awesome. That is such a cool painting. I mean, it's really grotesque, but at the same time, I don't know. There's something about the lines coming out of their eyes that's so freaking cool looking. And the fact that there's like a hole in the fabric of reality in the background, you can see some trees behind it. That's awesome. Jumping all around, jumping all around. It's supposed to be like a Greek philosopher or something? Hmm. Okay, I guess we're probably done in here, unless there's a drawer I missed or something. No, I don't think so. Oh, that's cool as hell, too. I didn't even notice that before. There's like a hand coming out of it, which I have to assume is is the ring lady or something. Doesn't seem to be reacting to me at all, so we're probably safe-ish. Maybe I was burning all those books. Oh, there's a chest under here. Maybe I could... Hmm... I was hoping maybe we could slide it out and interact with it. it. Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. More books. I've seen a few of these by now. I'm not super surprised. One of these days, opening all the things is gonna come back and bite me in the ass, isn't it? I don't know when that'll be, but you'll be here to see it. Nick is a robot. 